there everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have something special in store for you. We're diving into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism and discovering how to keep our cool in any situation. Trust me, these seven Stoic lessons will change the way you handle life's challenges. In life's journey, countless times, we find ourselves lost in a hectic sea of emotions and tumultuous situations. The search for inner tranquility is a universal aspiration, but how to achieve it in a world full of challenges and uncertainties? That's when I found a refuge in the wise words of Seneca, the great Stoic philosopher who taught me the art of inner calm. So grab a comfortable seat and let's get started. Number one. The Beauty of Simplicity Before adopting this perspective, my life was filled with commitments and distractions in pursuit of a happiness that always seemed to elude my reach. I believed that the complexity and accumulation of experiences and objects was the way to fulfillment, but I was wrong. I learned from Seneca that true beauty lies in simplicity, in appreciating things that often go unnoticed. I realized that the incessant quest for more, for more complicated and ornate things, was only increasing my stress and anxiety. Simplicity has become my refuge. I began to simplify my life, to question the need for so many commitments and possessions. In doing so, I found a sense of peace that I had never experienced before. I discovered that beauty is in the simple moments, a sunset, a sincere smile, a meal shared with loved ones. Simplicity also allowed me to focus on what's really important. By eliminating the superfluous, I found that my energy and attention could be directed toward the things that truly matter in my relationships, personal growth and the cultivation of inner calm. Number two, the present as a gift among all of Cynic's valuable lessons. The idea of the gift as Gift stands out as a profound revelation in my journey to inner calm, she made me see the present in a whole new way as a treasure that we often underestimate. By adopting this perspective, I realized that most of my time was spent dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. However, Seneca taught me that the only reality is now the present. Moment, every second that passes is a unique and unrepeatable gift. Embracing the present as a gift has transformed my way of life. I learned to appreciate the small details in life, like the warmth of the sun caressing the skin on a sunny morning or the soft sound of rain tapping on the window. The beauty of the present is in the simple moments that we often overlook in our race to the future, practicing mindfulness. I have found that inner calm is in the now. When I'm truly present, I feel at peace, free from past worries and anxieties about the future. The magic of the present is in its simplicity and the opportunity. It refers to live fully. Number three, acceptance of destiny. Accepting fate is not about passively resigning ourselves to life circumstances, but about recognizing that there are forces beyond our command. It's understanding that despite our efforts and planning, there are times when the unexpected happens, and this unexpectedness often puts us to the test, challenging our calm and our ability to adapt. I learned that the true essence of accepting fate lies in my reaction to situations, not the situations themselves, is the way I choose to deal with adversity that defines my inner peace. This is an achievement that requires a deep reflection on who I am and how I choose to respond to what life offers me. Acceptance of fate is not a surrender to apathy. It is an affirmation of my capacity to face reality in a courageous and serene way. When faced with unexpected challenges, I am reminded of Seneca's words. It is the nature of things that nothing remains the same for long. All things are subject to perpetual change. Thus, I understand that change is constant in life and how I choose to deal with that change is what truly matters. Number four, know myself. Understanding yourself is like opening a door to an inner world that often remains unknown. 
Senexa showed me that self-reflection is a powerful tool for exploring my deepest motivations, desires, and fears. I learned to question my actions and explore my emotions with sincerity. Sometimes, this inner exploration revealed aspects of myself that I would rather ignore, but coming to terms with these hidden parts of my psyche was essential to my journey of growth. Knowing myself has also helped me make decisions that are more in line with my values and goals. When I understood my deep motivations and beliefs, I was able to make conscious choices that brought me more peace and satisfaction. Number five, the fury of rage. Before I understood the destructive nature of, of anger, I used to see it as a justified reaction to life's injustices and frustrations. However, Seneca made me realize that anger is not only harmful to others, but also to myself. She's like a poison that poisons the mind and body, corroding the serenity we seek so much. I learned that anger often arises from unmet expectations and desire to control the uncontrollable. Practicing stoicism has taught me to focus on what is within my control, to accept that there are things I cannot change, and to develop the respond calmly instead of reacting in anger. Taming anger has become a journey of self-mastery. I learned to pause before reacting impulsively, to breathe deeply, and to reflect on the consequences of my actions. This doesn't mean repressing anger, but turning it into constructive energy to solve problems and promote understanding. Constant practices show me that anger is a choice, and I can choose how to respond to it. Today, when I feel the flame of anger igniting, I am reminded Seneca's words. Anyone can get angry. That's easy. But getting angry with the right person in the right measure, at the right time for the right reason, right and in the right way, is not that easy. This leads me to deep reflection on how to channel this energy constructively, and I often turn it into actions that promote peace and understanding. Number six, the futility of luxury. The pursuit of luxury and material wealth is a narrative that often dominates our lives. We have been conditioned to believe that accumulating material possessions is the key to happiness and success. However, Stoic philosophy through Senka revealed to me a profound truth, the futility of luxury. The process of understanding this lesson began as an inward journey. I looked at my own life and realized how consumed I was by a relentless pursuit of material things. I believed these objects would bring contentment and fulfillment, but in reality, they trapped me in a cycle of constant dissatisfaction. It was when I came across Seneca words that I began to question this mindset. He said, it's one thing not to have enough. It's another thing, however, to never have enough. It made me realize that the relentless pursuit of luxury and material wealth was not a quest for true wealth, but rather a trap that kept me in constant anxiety and insatiable desire. Number seven, true friendship. Before I fully understood this lesson, I was often surrounded by superficial relationships and the relentless pursuit of external and approval. He believed that the number of friends was more important than the quality of those relationships. However, Seneca taught me that true friendships are rare treasures that deserve to be cultivated. True friendships are those in which I can be completely myself, without masks or pretensions, these are relationships where sincerity and empathy flow freely, where I can share my dispensed fears, hopes, and dreams without these friendships are like emotional anchors in the midst of life storms. When I face challenges or moments of self-doubt, I know I can count on these friends to offer support, advice, and a welcoming presence. Through Seneca words, I understood the true friendship is not based on selfish interests, but I'm caring for the well-being of others and sharing best journey. It's a mutual ex journey. It is a mutual exchange of support and understanding that enriches our existence today. I deeply value true friendships in my life. It doesn't matter if there are few. What matters is the quality of these connections. Cultivating authentic relationships has become a priority 
And I know these friendships are a priceless treasure that enriches my journey in search of through these lessons. We embark on an inner journey in search of serenity, finding calm even in the storms of life. May this pursuit be a source of inspiration and continued growth for all of us. Until next time, stay calm, stay stoic, and stay awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your fellow calm seekers.